Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Today is Friday afternoon at 345 Central, and this is my segment of Craft Around the Clock. So we're going to paint a cow today. I am going to put some flowers on there and a little bow under his neck uh, before it's all over with. So I hope we can get some people on here. Hopefully, if you are not part of Craft Around the Clock and you're just from my page, please go to Craft Around the Clock and join because there are a lot of crafters there all day long from like 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. at night, Monday through Friday. So I see one person on. I don't see a comment. There we go. Hey, Patsy Perry, how are you doing? It's good to see you today. Thank you for coming on. Um, I've got my paint palette ready and I'm going to do I've got brown, but I may do blue eyes because I'm going to have blue jean type of flowers on there. And so I'm going to incorporate it with the blue eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have 45 minutes. So if you will, let me know when I'm close to being done. I'm going to go ahead and paint my cow white. I did uh, cut this out myself and I drew the, the, uh, picture of the eyes and everything on here and I went ahead and stained the wood so it would be finished on the back and we're going to paint the front of it. Hey Elizabeth, how are you doing? Are you having a good day off? I hope so. <laughs> are you on craft around the clock today? So I'm going to go ahead and paint the cow white, and then we'll do some accents with black. And um, like a Holstein cow. So I'm going to do it with this kind of a medium brush right here. And this is the neck portion. It does sit up on its own. Thank you for the hearts. But I may put something underneath it for it to be attached to. I don't know why. I don't really have to, but for some reason I kind of want to do that. Hey, Miss Jackie. You have worked your tail off. Me and Charlie are, are doing a movie. What are you watching? I'm sure you deserve it if you've been doing some housework today. Your patio is looking awesome. That's good. I should have taken off today, but I didn't. I might do another three-day weekend at some point because I have so much to do. Hey, Tanya Block, it's good to see you from Spain. I'm so glad you're here. The one with Robert De Niro. Gosh, I have no idea what that one is. <laughs> All the way from Spain. I've been to Spain a couple of years ago. Hey, Miss Bonnie, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Robert De Niro. I haven't watched a movie in a while. I was wanting to go to see Fast and Furious 10, and I was going to do it after I got off of here, but my friend said that her cough was too much, so she didn't want to go. You're from Belgium, but live in Spain since 2015. What do you do over there in Spain? That's awesome. Do you do crafts too? From Belgium. So you speak French or do you speak French and Spanish? Obviously, I know you speak English or you wouldn't be talking to me in English. So we're just going to paint the front of this and not the sides because I have stained it. If I didn't stain it, then I would do the sides also. So I'm just doing this one coat of white on here. Hey, Michelle Varela, how are you doing, girl? It's good to see my ladies on here that I see all the time. And it's good to see you, Tanya. I'm assuming that it's Tanya. My friend Marie calls me Tanja, even though my name is Tan Tanya. Flemish, Spanish, and German. Wow. I'm impressed. That's good. 
I'm not going to go all the way up. I'm just going to go a little bit. These are supposed to be flowers painted on here, but I decided to do the blue flowers on there. Your name's the same. Tanya. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I, she calls me Tan, uh, Tanja, and I just, I think it's funny, so I just, I like it when she says that. I just know it's her, <laughs> so I like it. All right. So I'm going around the eyes right here and just doing this one coat of, of white. And I'll probably have to do another one because it looks like it needs to have two coats. Spanish people call me Tanga. Tanga. <laughs> I just answer to whatever, don't you? As long as it's close, I figure it's probably me. So I just answer. Hey, Miss June. Yes, I'm on early today. I picked a early spot because there weren't any spots at my normal time. So I thought I would come on early today and hopefully get some people on here. And I'm, I've got uh, Tanya on here from Spain, y'all. And um, so I probably wouldn't have seen her otherwise. So I'm very happy for that. Let's see, we get some people. You answered everything. Some Spanish friends call me. Is it Belhica? Hey, Miss Simone. How are you doing? So good to see you, girl. I don't always see you on here. I know it's hard for us to get on sometimes. And I understand that. Yeah, before your kids come. So I'm glad. See? That kind of... Uh, made it a little bit better for some people. I don't always get to come on here. I do did get off early today, so I was able to come on. I figured I could do it. So I went ahead and signed up, get a different spot. Everybody's used to me being on here about 6 to 6.30. I'm kind of going in between here because I don't want to do over the little muzzle or his nose piece. And so I'm just kind of going and leaving it where the, the mouth goes to the rest of the body over here. So, do you paint, Tanya? I'm not used to saying my name. What kind of crafting do you do? When do your kids come, Miss June? Does everybody have good plans for the Memorial Day weekend? I'm excited that I have three days off, y'all. I'm going to be cleaning. I'm going to try to come on here on Sunday like I always do. Probably later on in the day. I don't know. Alright, let me get close here. Let me dry this and then we'll do another coat on there. Hey, <laughs> you're glad I'm early. I bet you've been busy, girl. I've seen some of your pictures. It's good to see you, too. You color mostly, but started crafting by looking at craft around the clock. Tried decoupaging and skippied a wooden box. Well, interesting. Do y'all have, like, a craft store there? I'm just kind of curious. I don't uh, know. I've been to Europe several times. I'm going to go to Ireland and um, a day in Scotland at Edinburgh at the end of July. So it's too bad you're not over there. Hey, Diane, girl. How are you doing? Got all my girls here and some new girls. Love it. 
You know, there's a lot of people on Craft Round the Clock. You can get a variety of people to, to teach you things. Not really, but we have secondhand stores and Terrace. Always Amazon and Timu. I know, girl. Timu is addictive. You got that right. Mm -mm -mm. I just bought some more stuff. I got these little things at Timu. These little flowers. You only get like five in a package, but um, it was only like a dollar or two. You can't beat that with a stick. Hey, Terry Jellison. How are you doing from Kentucky? I'm from Memphis. So not too far from Kentucky. You're my up above my head. All right. So I think I've got him painted pretty good white. We're going to do some shading and things like that. Let me dry this. <laughs> Traveling with a group. No, I'm going by myself. But um, I'm meeting a friend there. And we're going to travel together. So we're going to get a car. Hey, Marilyn Jenkins. How are you doing? So we are... Um, going to get a car, and I'm not used to driving on the opposite side of the road, so I don't know how that's going to work. Where did you get the Arkansas napkins? I bought them on Etsy. So, um, I'll send you some, Miss June, because they gave me a package of them, and I don't really need all those. I was just trying to, um, get one, and they sent me a whole package. So, um, I'll send you some. You ain't got to buy any. Because <laughs> I know you're from Arkansas. <laughs> but I got that. I got a few. I got Mississippi. I got Tennessee. And they're just coming at different times. I don't even know why. Let me try to mix some of this. I want a little bit of gray instead of black. So it's not so severe. So let me mix it. I want it to be just light color. And I still am going to use black. But I want to get rid of some of this. Oh, you're welcome. What does that say? I'm so jealous, girl. Enjoy every bit. I know life is too short. You are so right, Miss Simone. Time goes by so fast, and now that I have a grandbaby, I really want to be around him and stuff, and so I want to travel more and do what I need to do just to live. I love Europe. It would be nice to to meet some people from Europe. I know we've got um, somebody from Denmark that comes on here. Miss Susie from Denmark. And um, I've seen some people in Australia. And I don't know what else. Yeah, I'm on Miss Connie. I did a um, telegram. So everybody would know. Now I'm just taking this gray because I don't want it to be too severe up underneath. Life's too short. My wife died last year. Oh, because of a mistake of the doctor. So enjoy every day. I know. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Oh my goodness, you just don't know. You don't know how long you have with somebody, so enjoy it while you have it. And be happy, you know. Now I'm going to go around this nose part, which I haven't finished with the peach. But I just want to do all of my outsides first. And then you know I always do the eyes last and the nose parts. Oh, you were getting some tests done, Miss Connie. Well, I hope everything came out okay. Now, I'm just going around this. And I don't want it to be too severe, so I'm doing it gray instead of black. Well, we're always here for you. If you need anything, Miss Tanya, or Tanya, I mean hard for me to say my own name on here. It's like I'm talking to myself. Now I'm going to go around this and I want to make it a little bit shaded on this side because the head is on um, the body over here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of make it thicker. So I'm going to get more water in it. 
don't know yet on my blocked artery. Well, hopefully they can fix you up. Maybe you just need a balloon. Angioplasty. What are, I'm making a cow. I cut out a cow <clears throat> and I'm making a cow. Now I'm kind of making it a little bit thicker right here because the, the head is going to be, can you tell it's a cow? And I probably should have went all the way up with the white, but you're not going to really see it. So it's just a waste of paint. All right. So we're just making it a little thicker right in here because it's going to be underneath here. And I'm going to kind of do it like this. Just to make some lines. And just kind of smear it a little bit, just like that. I mean, there we go. It's a little better. See how that looks kind of like his neck when he's turning to the side a little bit? Yeah, Miss Connie, you'll have to let me know how everything goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll be praying for you. I'm going to go ahead and do around the ears and do on this side of the body. So I'm still going to take the gray because I don't want it to be that severe. And I'm just doing the edges right here. And around the eyes, I always like to do that because it makes it give it some depth. Just like that, because once I do all that part, then you'll see it come together. Thank you, Miss Janet. How are you doing? So good to see you. So happy to see everybody. I wish I could come on earlier sometimes, but because of work, I can't really do that. But today is special. And I did go and see my mother. And she's doing okay. She's putting stuff in the refrigerator again, though. I, got, I had to clean it out. I had two bags worth. I don't know what to do with her. I told her, I said, don't you be putting all that food in there. You don't need all that food. I think she's afraid she's never going to get any food. And she gets it all the time. The neighbor gives her food. My day was good. It went by quick, too. I'm just going to go on the sides here, just like this. All right, now I'm going to get some black, <clears throat> just a little bit more dark. And we're just going to, I'm going to kind of do gray. I don't know. I want some black, though. And we're just going to make a design on here, kind of like a Holstein cow. Just like this. And I'm just taking my brush. See how it's just a little, little gray area, but I've got it a little bit black. Thanks for painting the page. I'm going to do it right here too. I'm just going to kind of do that. Trying to make it a little bit dark. There we go. And you got a little bit of white in it. Sometimes it doesn't show as good a black. All right, so I've got a couple pieces, and I think I'm going to do it right here also. <laughs> I, I did it on uh, Snapchat, Miss Bonnie. I just thought it was funny. I'm like, ooh, they can see what I look like with long hair, which is never going to happen, y'all. Does your mother have a caregiver? No, she doesn't have a caregiver. Now, I'm going to um, put kind of one right up in here, too. She doesn't really need a caregiver, but she just doesn't. She's a hoarder, and it's just really hard to get her to stop doing that. <laughs> she used to never do that with food, but now she does it with food. Hey, Miss Kim, how are you doing? 
And I don't know if it's just her getting older or what. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to kind of go right here like this. And then I'm going to do it over here too. Okay. So now we're getting a little bit of black and white there. Now I'm going to take my peach and we're going to go right in here and inside the ears. I'm glad you're doing well. It was funny, but you look cuter and younger. I, I think I look a lot younger with short hair, too. I thought I kind of looked old on there. I thought it was funny when I looked at it. Hey, Miss Linda Creedon, how are you doing, girl? It's good to see you here. All right, so I'm going to just do this, and we're going to go around where the nostrils are. That way I don't get in the middle of that yet. And we will, yeah, I thought it was funny that um, picture of me with long hair, but that's what Snapchat does. I thought, let me just get on Snapchat real quick, do a couple of photos. <laughs> it was too funny. Uh, okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is use a smaller brush, which is one of these, and this did come from Timu. These are pretty good. They wear out a little bit. Some of them are a little better than others. Some of them kind of spread out too much. But I would recommend them, you know, because they're they're not that bad. So I'm going to go on the edge here. See, this one's pretty good. But some of them kind of spread out too much, and you don't want that. You're a newbie to the page. I'm so glad. It says, how do you pronounce your name and how do you spell it? My name is Tanya and it is T-A-N-Y-A, -A, just like yours, only you have an L-A on the front of yours. Thank you for being on my page. I appreciate that. It is Tanya. Some people call me Tanya and I'm okay with that. I answer to most everything. I was just telling somebody earlier that was on here. Miss uh, Tanya from Belgium, but she lives in Spain. She's on here. So I appreciate y'all being here. All right, so I'm going around the nostrils right now, and that's the reason for the smaller brush. You're still here. I figured you were still here. You just weren't saying anything. And yes, I live in the South. Can't you tell? Where are you from, LaTanya? Or is it LaTanya? <laughs> See, you just never know. You never know where you're from or how you say your name. My mother always told me that she named me after Lawrence Welk's daughter, but I didn't see where she was named Tanya. I think she just used to be on the show. You do such a good job painting. Thank you, Miss Janet. You're so sweet. I'm kind of talking a lot instead of painting. <laughs> but we'll get it done, though. Let me see what time it is. It's 4.08, and I have until... Uh, 4.30. So I've still got some time. We're going to make a bow with the Bodabra. I'm going to try my hand at the Bodabra. I've got the little one. I've got the big one in the closet. I haven't opened it yet. Now I'm getting close to the edge. But sometimes I have to kind of move my brush a certain way to get in between there. So just be careful when you're trying to get close to another area that you don't want to have the paint on. Let's see here. We're probably going to have to do a second coat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss June. I know with the you're right, Miss June. That uh, blush makes all the difference. I'm telling you. All right, I'm going to dry this. And then we're going to go with a second coat. Because I still see. But I'm also going to use a different color 
on the outside. You're in California, you pronounce it LaTanya, but it's spelled Tanya. I figured you did, wasn't sure, you just never know. Well, welcome to my page. I appreciate you being here and hopefully you'll follow and enjoy everything that we do. Hey, Sandy, it's so good to see you. Thank you for painting the page. All right, so once I dried it, it's not as bad, but I still need to fix a couple little areas. So I'm going to go back right here and just fill this part in. And then we're going to take this other color in this area for one reason. It won't uh, take the paint. Have y'all ever done that? You've been painting something and it doesn't exactly take the paint as well as the rest of it. All right, let me get a little bit closer right here. We'll dry it, and then I'm going to use that other color. There we go. All right, so I think, wait a minute, one little bitty bit right there. Oh, girl, you can paint. You can paint like me. It just takes practice, I have to say. All right, so now I'm going to take this color right here, which is a melon color. It's called Coral Blush. It's by Americana. Um, you don't have to get that color. You can get whatever colors that you want. You could even use brown because I do use brown a good bit. Y'all know that. But I'm going to use this because we're using black and white. So I don't really want the brown on here. But I just take it on the edge of my brush and we're just doing a little bit of water on it and then we're going around the edge. Your grandma was the only person that would say it like that. Tanya. <laughs> she must have liked that way. That's just something you can remember your grandma by, isn't it? When I can't get the acrylic paint to stick, I slap some chalk paint. You're right, girl, because chalk paint is good for the area. Hey, Miss Margaret Fazio, how are you doing? No work for you, not work for me either. All right, so we're just going around the edge, just like we're doing. And see, it makes all the difference in the world. You know you can fix it no matter what. So even if you mess up, you can always go on top of it with a different color. Now I'm going to get a little bit closer right here. Now I am going into the nostril. I'm not meaning to. But like I said, you can fix it. So see how that looks? Looks so much better. And I'm going to take a little bit and go underneath. She's from the south too. A lot of people say Tanya here, but I don't, I go by Tanya, but all right, we're going to go a little bit under here for his lip. Just like that. And I'm going to go a little bit up right here. And we don't want too much color. We just want enough. See right there. Uh, I don't, it's because I have a three-day weekend coming up. I'm a little bit better, and I'm earlier, too, and I'm not as tired. Thank you, Miss Simone. But that's, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just in a better mood today. All right, let me do a little bit thicker right here. We want to go up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so there is the the mouth, okay? And we're going to do a little bit of color in between. So I'm going to take this color, and we're just going to kind of dry brush it right in here to go around this. Kind of like that. And I want it to be kind of smushed in there. We're going to smush it. And... Let me make sure this goes around. And then we're going to put a little bit in between, but I'm going to have to get a little bit of water because sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't do. Thank you, Miss Margaret, for spreading the paint. I appreciate it. 
All right, so we're just gonna kind of go in here like this. Like that, okay? I don't want it to look too, there we go, there we go. Sometimes you gotta just play with it until it looks like that you've just smeared it in there and it looks a little better. Just like that, okay? Can't wait to see the eyes. Ooh, we gonna see. <laughs> All right, so let me see here. I gotta do the middle of his ears. So we're just gonna paint this. And I'm just taking some of this, putting some water because we, Mui Cute, thank you so much, Angela. How are you doing? And I'm just gonna spread it a little bit. And we're gonna do the other color too. I'm just kind of doing it like this, okay? Like the inside of his ear. And then we're just gonna paint a little bit of that color to make it look more like a cow. Thank you, Miss Penny. How are you doing? So glad everybody's here. Getting to watch. This is a good time to come on, huh? You just never know. All right, so now I've got the ears but we want to put some of this um, melon color in there. You ate? I'm sorry, Miss Margaret. Did a lot of weed, weed whacking. Girl, don't I know. That is harder. Harder than uh, people think. Yard work is hard. Last weekend, I mowed my grass. And that was good. Let me get some more water here. I'm just gonna go on top of this. I'm gonna do it this color. I like that better. It looks a little better. I ate a salad earlier when I, before I got home, I stopped it. Um, I don't know the name of that place. What is the name of it? Pete and Home. It's two names. It's like a, barbecue place. All right, so we're just going to go a deeper color right there, just like that, okay? So that way it looks like the inside of the ears. What'd you say? My mother milked our cow every morning and evening. We drank milk and she had butter. Wow! Lord, I don't know if I could do that. It doesn't look like it's easy to do. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. It looks hard to milk a cow. I don't know about y'all. All right. So what was I going to do? I was going to do the nostrils. So I'm going to get a small brush, okay? And I'm going to use the pink. And we're going to go in here. Now I'm using the peachy color first. We're gonna go about halfway through, and then I'm gonna do the peach, the uh, melon color next. We're gonna do that first. Just like this, but we want it a little darker, so we're gonna use the melon color. And if I have to, we'll do brown, but I'm going to do it this way first. You can never do the things your mother did. You know, I think people back in the, I call it pioneer age, even though it's probably, she's not the pioneer, but I just feel, thank you so much, Miss Margaret. But um, I just feel like they were such strong women back then. I don't know if the people today could even manage it. Do you? I just don't. I don't think we could do as much as they did. They had to do it, and now we don't have to do it, so we don't even do anything, it seems. All right, so I'm taking my little bitty brush. This is a tinier brush, and I'm just going on it right here like this, on the edge, on the bottom. 
But I am going to take, I think, brown because this isn't going to be good enough. Maybe. Let me just do it a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Like that. Okay. And we'll just see. Yeah, Michelle, I think they, um, they just were strong. I, I don't know how. All right, we're going to go with black in here. I may just take a little thing of black. And I'm just going around the edges. If y'all know how I am, when I do something, I try to do the edges first. And then I go back like a coloring book and color in. You tried to milk a cow once and you got milked. Girl, I believe it. I, I don't think I could do it, but I would love to do it just once. It doesn't look like it's that easy. I mean, it's like it. It's hard. It doesn't seem like it'd come out when you're pulling on it. I don't know. I just don't know if I could do it. Okay. Let me fix this. There we go. She had eight kids. Oh my goodness. She's in heaven now. She would be 104. Wow. All power to her. That's all I can say. She was a mighty woman, Miss June. You would get sprayed all over me too. All right, I'm just coloring in the nostrils. And we're going to take a little bit and go around the nose. Yeah, I don't know if I could do it either, but I kind of would like to try. wonder if there's places you can go. And just milk a cow. You think? <laughs> now I'm going to take this brush and we're going to go just ever so slightly around the whole thing. Just really lightly so you can tell the difference. See there? So it looks like it's the inside. You had one child. She had eight and you had one. Yeah, these people that had a lot of children, I don't know how their uterus could stand that. My uterus would have said no a long time ago. You did it often when you were a kid. It's not so difficult to milk a cow. Girl, I don't know about that. I think it's a, I think it's difficult. I'm going to go in here just a tatty bit. There we go. Now it looks like the inside of the nostrils. Well, all power to you, Tanya, girl. You can do it. <laughs> I would like to try once and get it on video <laughs> because I've never done it and it might be funny, okay? Hey, Miss Gail, it's so good to see you. Now, I'm going to make blue eyes for my cow. So, I'm going to go right here at the bottom. Just like this. And just make one little U. I am going to take this and put a little bit of white with it. To try to tone it down just a little. Don't want too much. Shoot. Well, I say I am, but in working good. More power to anyone that does any farm work. I would love to be on a farm, I have to say. Warn anyone watching that video to put on Depends. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, isn't that the truth? You know me so well. I think Sonic Tanya would come out. All right. So there is the blue. Okay, for each eye, but you won't be able to see that too much once I get the, the um, 
black in there. Thank you, Miss Brenda. You're so sweet. Hey, Miss Laurel. How are you doing? From California, girl. All right. Let me see here. Now I'm going to go right here. And we're going to go kind of close. But I'm going to take a gray kind of and go in there too. We're just going around the edges. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. They're shaped just a little bit different. This is going to have some white right here. Let me get really close here. <laughs> Sonia, Sonic Tanya is fun. Yeah, we need to do that sometime again. We don't I don't go to Sonic that much. I occasionally go get me a BLT in there, but I don't go too often. You grow up on one and we had a big garden and everything. Had to feed the kids. Yeah. I get it. Nowadays people don't know how to do anything. Everything's already done for us. Thank you, Miss Simone. You are too, girl. I've watched you craft. All right, so right now, these are the eyes. Now, we're going to, I went ahead and I did a little bit of eyelash. If you see, it's right here because I like them to look like <laughs> eyelashes. And, um, so I'm going to do this. Ooh. And then we'll pretend that the rest of it is just background. Hey, Miss Cheryl from Georgia. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. All right, we want this to come out here like that. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and this one over here a little bit bigger. All right, now I want a little bit of white in there. We're going to make it look a little bit better. Sometimes I see things I need to fix. You just never know. Thank you for being here, Miss Margaret. I only have three minutes. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. Thank you for telling me. All right, I think I want two of these on either side. Boy, that went by quick, didn't it? And one of these that's plain in the middle. And I didn't know if I'd have enough time or not. Hey, Cece. Thank you for being here. I'm going to put a little color in the middle, but I'll have to do that later. And then I was going to do the bow, but I went ahead and did a bow in case I didn't have enough time. So I've got this little bow right here because it kind of looks like blue jean material, even though it's regular shirt material. Hey, Miss Vicki Schneider, you have Four older sisters, two still plant gardens. One of them plants a large garden. And you help plant this year. Wow. All right, so I'm going to stick this here. I want the side that doesn't have the little knot on it, so we're going to do it right here. <laughs> I know, too quick. We're having such a good time talking. So I'm going to put this right here. And I'll move it down a little bit. And then let me put the white in the eyes. So I'm going to take this. And we're going to get a big blob of it. And we're going to do it right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Thank you. Now I'm going to fix him a little bit. But I'll take a picture of him and show him later. 
but here he is. I'm going to put a little bit of gray in the middle and make it look like more, you know, fur or whatever. Your dad always planted a garden. My grandparents did, and now that they're gone, I just hate it so much because I don't get any good vegetables anymore. I need to go eat a steak. You're so bad, Miss Bonnie. I don't want to eat a steak. Poor little, what's his name? We gotta make Moody full. Thank you, Miss Pat. Hey, Cynthia. Thank you, Miss Brenda. She says milker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, she's cute, that's for sure. How much would want would want for that cow? I don't know. Usually, I um, sell these for um, thirty dollars. Thank you, Miss Donna. Elsie. Oh, that's cute. Okay, Elsie. I like her. Isn't she cute? Oops, you. <laughs> I wondered what it was. I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, I appreciate everybody being here. It's actually a minute over, so if you'll go see the next person on Craft Around the Clock, that'll be great. And y'all come back and see me on Sunday. I will post... Uh, when I'll be on. It'll probably be in the evening. I'm not sure. But y'all have a good evening. And thank you so much, Miss June. I'm going to fix her a little bit more. And then I'll post pictures. Y'all have a good afternoon. And thank you so much for being here. And thank you, Latanya and Tanya, for being here also. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, everybody, and for the hearts. Y'all have a good evening. Bye.